Jay, 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 Jay. You already know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen. All right, kids. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Your boy is back. I done did it again. <laughs> All right. So somebody asked me, hey, Joe, what do you think about Lynda.com? And I'm going to put Lynda.com and Plural Site together. And then I'm, I'm going to do a little comparing, you know, compared to Udemy. You know, so it's going to be like this, man. It's like Linda and Plural Site versus, <laughs> versus um, Udemy. <laughs> what do I think about it? Well, I'm going to say this, guys. Basically, Linda has some old ass courses. Their courses are so old man like this course is there from 19 fucking 99 2001 and like they're still charging the same amount you know and it's like why would you want to go in there and start watching some old ass courses some people might say hey man you know programming is timeless and this and that but if you're doing like a a PHP, I don't know, 5.3 or some shit like that, or 5.6, and you know that right now you're in your company is 7.0, 7.1, why the hell would you be studying like some old ass tutorial, some old ass course, right? And then the same thing as Plural Site. Plural Site has a whole bunch of courses that they're just old. They're from like 2002, uh, not 2002, 2012, 2013. Like 2014, their courses are old. They're old and outdated. Now, the good thing about Plural Site is that Plural Site has uh, people who are really known in the industry. People who, like, let's say they work for Microsoft or they work in the React team or they worked in in the high callers in in Microsoft, like you know, for the TypeScript. Uh, team that created TypeScript, right? So that's the good thing about it. But the problem is that most of those people, those experts, they create a course accordingly to whatever version they're working on. And then if something new comes up, now whatever they were teaching, it breaks. And then they don't even do updates on it, you know? So that's my problems with those, with those two, you know? Linda and Plural Site. You know, that's my only problem with it, is just they're old. They barely they barely put in anything new. So, you know, it's not really worth it. Cause now you're just watching old ass code and shit that probably broke or people updated it and changed it. It's like it's not worth it. Now when you watch something on Unity, there's a chance that it might be old too. But the good thing about uh, Udemy is that at any moment, the instructor could just come in and be like, hey, hey guys, I, I just created an update. Make sure you check out the update. So now that you own the class, now that you own the course, you pretty much get all the free upgrades too. So like, let's say, like the other day I was watching um, uh, Stephen Grider's uh, React. React and Rita, so because I was like retouching on some stuff that I forgot about, and then basically he sent uh, sent out a message where it says, "Hey guys, I just updated it to to the latest uh, React router," and I'm like, "Man, you will never get this shit in in fucking you and not you to me in Plural Site and Linda at all, because those sites is like they show you the videos and that's it, and those." those instructors they make their money like that and they're like oh cool that's it i created the course i never have to come back to it but people like stephen grider and even cole Steele still add some new content to a course that you bought you could buy a course and then a year from now you're still gonna get the upgrades and whatever fucking came up with whatever is, is new with the times so to me that shit is cool you know what i mean so that's what I would say about it, you know. If if I'm gonna choose between Linda and Plural Site or 
Udemy, I'm definitely gonna go with Udemy, guys. Like, I'm not choosing to watch old ass videos. I'm not gonna pay to watch some old ass videos. It's just not worth it. If you're going to pay for something, you wanna pay for something that's really good. You know what I mean? So, but that's just me. You know, I don't know what I don't know what you your your priorities might be different. You know. Sorry, man. I'm fucking. For some reason, I'm like allergies is killing me right now. Plus, it's a little bit dark today because uh, you know it rained and it's still super cloudy. There's barely any light outside. So yeah, man. But yeah, dear guys. So that's my review on it. It's something simple. And plus, another good thing about Udemy is that not only do you get updated courses and stuff like that but at the same time people drop uh, new courses constantly like if you didn't like an instructor you could go and check out another instructor and Linda if they created one one uh, video or course on Node.js that's it there's no more Node.js that's the Node.js video for Linda you know what I mean now in, in plural site there might be uh, different videos for like let's say Node.js but then Node.js the videos that they have might be like a super old version like I saw a video where a guy was it was recently too I saw a video where the guy was talking about fucking uh, I think Node.js version of 4.0 or some shit like that and I'm like wait aren't we in, in Node.js uh, version 7 point something like why are you dropping a brand new video on Node.js 4.0? It doesn't make sense, you know. And then like, it's like you're paying for money for for this shit, you know. You, come on, you're paying a lot of money for this this courses. I, if I want to get something good, I go to fucking Udemy, you know. It's that simple, man. But yeah, guys, listen. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And at the same time, if you want to become a web developer and you keep asking me, hey, Joe, what do you do to become a web developer? The courses are there. The exact courses that I took to become a web developer, basically a programmer, software engineer, anything you want to call me. <laughs> you know, where did I learn it? You know, at Udemy. And once again, I'm going to put this out there. I'm not getting fucking paid from Udemy, I'm not getting like, oh, I'm sponsored by Udemy, I'm not the reason why I always say check out those courses is because number one I get like uh, $2 out of them, that's one two, because the courses are actually the ones that taught me, you know if I if I was to be like, hey I learned everything from Co-Academy, I would say, hey guys, go check out Co-Academy uh, Co if I learned everything from Team Treehouse, I would tell you, hey guys, go check out Team Treehouse. If I learned anything from uh, a YouTuber here, I would say, hey guys, go check out this YouTuber. But I didn't learn my shit from anybody out here. I learned everything that I, I, I know strictly from, from Udemy. So, you know what I mean? And at the same time, this is not like a, a biased video where I'm like, hey, fucking you know, forget about Linda and forget about Plurus. I go check out Udemy. No, it's just that I've tried everything. I've tried every single service out there. I tried uh, Coursera. I tried uh, Udacity. I tried Team Treehouse. I tried Code Academy. I tried Free Code Camp. And from all of them, literally the best one that I found the best videos and the best in instructors have been on Udemy. And that's just, and at the same time, it's like I said, that's, that's just my opinion, guys. You know, some of you guys might say, hey, man, I can't learn from videos. I learn from reading a book. That's great. Me, I don't fucking like reading a book when I could just see how the person caught it. You know what I mean? But everybody's different. All right, guys? Listen, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you show some love. The kid is here. And like I said, man, check out the courses. Trust me, everybody that has taken the courses here on the channel, all they got to say is thank you. Thank you for showing me these courses. They're definitely improving. And, yeah, man. And, by the way, guys, 
Make sure you keep doing the projects, guys. Keep making projects. Don't just, you know, take a course and be like, oh, cool. I took the course. This is not like riding a bike. This is something that you have to keep on doing until it's just like, you know, engraved in your fucking mind. Like, you, you just have it there. And you're like, okay, cool. I know this shit by heart now. You know, and the only way that's, that's going to happen is by you practicing it and creating projects. Multiple projects. Not creating the same type of project. You got to, you know, push yourself. All right, guys? I'll see you guys later. Bow.